Couldn't you just say that once and be done with it? Wait a minute, this looks suspicious. I uh, like Yeah, there must be a door. I can see a seam running in the middle, but how do I get that open? Hmm. Okay, let's try this. Doesn't seem to work. And I sure hope that if there's a hostage inside there, that explosion doesn't hurt him or her. Actually, what I did actually look up from this game, uh, I think it should hurt Robocop if you go and shoot her. Civilian or and um, oh, oh shoot, shoot, shoot the criminal who has surrendered. And where did that weapon come from? Oh, wait, is that is fired with a flamethrower? Now it's the Robocop's worst nightmare. So the grenade launch was exceedingly effective. Oh! I was thinking maybe I can use that myself, but... <clears throat> Shut up! Civilians in your sector, there are civilians in your sector, there are civilians in your sector. Mm. I may be synthetic, but I'm not stupid. Okay. Oh. Right, great, right next to an explosion. Loading barrel. And um, nothing else here. Is this another one of those cases where new areas will open up seemingly arbitrarily? And I want to get rid of that barrel. That should do it. And let's test out this weapon. Looks like the gun arm from the third Robocop movie. Okay, we are back here. I had to do a bit because the recording crack, crapped out on me. I did notice something weird. Take a look at this. Okay, fine. Of course, now it works. This... Hmm. Oh, I just had the grenade dropping down through the floor a moment ago for some reason. Well, maybe it will happen again. Yeah, just thinking of showing off this gun arm. Well, this is one of the new things they had in Robocop 3. Oh, another uh, surrender. Um, why did the gate open up now? Oh, well, whatever. And, hmm. And that guy has uh, improvised flamethrower, it seems. Uh -uh. And doesn't seem to be willing to come out of his little hidey hole. Well, we we'll improvise. By improvise, I mean shoot him from outside, I suppose. Don't want to get too close to him. And when you kill him, the tank on his back explodes. I guess. Oh, I wanted to have a flamethrower too. Where does Robocop attach his left hand when it's... 
of due to toe hand cannon. Hmm. One of those things that doesn't make a lot of sense. and there seems to be an invisible wall blocking me from walking down this way. Great level design, Titus guys. Just great. It's down right so great that any great would be grateful to have such great design. Some civilians. Oh, can I? No, I can't use this. And where did you come from? Hello, sir. I'm talking to you. Via bullets. What the hell is that? Some sort of crude humanoid robot. Okay, let's bring out this gun. Well, at least the rate of fire is much better. Okay, time for explosions. Yep, that takes care of them quite nicely, and they leave behind. Oh! That's quite nice. And they've clipped through the wall so I can't really make out what they are, but looks like they are completely mechanical. Energy. Now, where are the civilians? <sighs> and again. Recording problems, have to redo part of, redo part of the level. I did realize something. If you try to press the reload button on the handgun while it is full, Robocop does this. Hooray! And... I'm not sure about that, but it looks like there's a red dot at the bottom of the handle. Oh, weird. This recording is coming out all right. Uh, any more machines? At least there's lots of boxes to break. Oh, another fan of the flamethrower, guys. Oh, uh, and I don't see anyone nearby, so it should you right in the nuts. Now let go. Which seems to prevent them from exploding if you go under the, under the belt. It's really a shame you can't get the flamethrower yourself. Electronically locked door. Mm -hmm. Come out, come out, wherever you are, uh, criminals or machines or whatever. And this looks a bit too confusing, this region it does. 
Oh, someone shooting me from... Oh, I guess it was you, maybe. Okay, I guess I can explode that with impunity. Ah, oh, pretty fireworks and deadly fireworks as well. Look, you really shouldn't... Oh, hello. Oh. Ooh, I remember that dog. You really shouldn't be taking... Uh, cover behind exploding barrels since... Next thing you know, that happens. I don't need energy, could use some shield. It's Samuel L. Jackson running it. Whee! Boom. Ah, okay, I guess since my boss isn't annoying me yet, there's no... Oh, hello. There are no civilians in my sector, I should uh, rescue. Oh, did you hear that? They used a classic line from the movie. Should have done more of that instead of going with the oh yeah bullseye stuff, which really is not like Robocop at all. And it seems a bit pointless to be attacking the machines with anything except the grenade launcher. Maybe later on in the game I will get more weapons which are good against them. This gun arm seems to have a bit more spread at long distances than the pistol. Okay, aim at the foot, I'll shoot your kneecaps out. No. Okay, that was alright too. I'm into line. Let's try creep. Come on, would you please surrender to me, sir? Oh, thank you. I'm not sure, but it might be that some of the enemies are more likely to surrender than others. In general, it seems to be that the skinny enemies, rather than the big beefy ones. Huh. I don't even feel like blowing barrels really at right now. I think I already checked this. Yeah. Anything around here? Doesn't look like it. Over here, maybe? Oh, I, I think this is just going in a circle. Yeah. 